I'm going to introduce you to one of my all-time favorite compounds. We're talking calcium carbide here. Now, if I open up this container, show you what this compound looks like, you'd say, that looks a lot like gravel. <laughs> but it's not. Calcium carbide has a rather incredible reaction with water. I'm going to put some in this beaker of water and you'll see what I'm talking about. What we're producing there, bubbles of acetylene gas. And acetylene gas, as you'll see, is quite combustible. Nice little flame going there. As long as we've got some acetylene going, we've got some combustion going. Okay? And by the way, the other thing you can notice is how it turns this milky white. I love this because all, both the reactants, the calcium carbide in the water, and the products, the acetylene and that's calcium hydroxide, are also visible. One last little poof. I'm going to go over to the chart and talk about this. Here's the reaction. Real simple. Calcium carbide, and this carbide ion right here is a two negative. It's two carbon atoms with a triple bond between them. And when it then reacts with water, it does so in a kind of a double replacement, because look what happens. The calcium reacts with the OH part of the water to give us the calcium hydroxide, which is aqueous only to an extent. It's not all that soluble, which is why you got that white precipitate forming there. Meanwhile, the hydrogen's end of the water molecule connect with the carbide and form acetylene gas, H, C, triple bond, C, H, C2, H2. Very combustible gas. Now, I have a couple more demonstrations that go along with that. I'd read about these, but didn't know where to come across one until I went on eBay and found this. This is an old carbide lamp. And the way it works is just like that. This is used by miners. And it's a really easy construction here. Down here is the chamber in which you put the calcium carbide, and this was used for years by miners back before they had flashlights. I'll put some of that down in there. There's a little gasket here that's keeping that air tight, and I'll screw that on there, give us a nice seal. Up here, look at that, Oop. flips open. That's where the water goes. They're not in the same compartment yet. And on top is a little nozzle that as you turn it this way, this way, allows that water to drip in, drop by drop, into this lower chamber here. And the more you turn it, the faster it drops. As it does so, of course, it's producing that acetylene gas, but at a very controlled rate. And that comes out through this little tiny opening here. Okay? And I can smell it. It has a distinct odor. And if I go ahead and light it, I get a beautiful little white flame that you would think is a white LED. Very bright and adjustable. Just turn up the uh, right here. Okay? I can hear it bubbling away in there. Has the flame gotten bigger? Yeah. So, a nice little lamp. Of course, the miners would have that right here on their foreheads. And I want to show you something. This is rather impressive. So, turn out the lights completely. And let me show you that this actually does provide quite a bit of light right there from this, like a flashlight. Okay? Lights back on. With the lights on, you'd swear that's like a bright LED. And of course, turn it back down. It's not really an off switch because that just controls the rate at which the water is going down. It still takes some time, so you blow it out. A little bit leaks out, but still, wonderful little gadget. Okay? And now, another demonstration of this. I've got some water in the bottom of these Gatorade containers, taken off the label, and I've made a hole here in the sides of them. Now there's about maybe 60 or 70 milliliters of water in the bottom. Into the first bottle, I'm going to place just one nice sized chunk of it, of that calcium carbide, just one piece in here. 
and I've got a bandana that I'm going to shove down in there. This is like the demonstration from the Old West. We got the, the miners, we got the cowboys, okay. In the next one, <laughs> I'm going to be a little bit more adventuresome. I'm going to put a fistful, well, probably about 30 little pebbles of it in there. Look out. Ooh. And shove a bandana down in there as well. Okay. Meanwhile, let me show you what I've got here. I took an old Amon flame lighter. They used to use these in the Old West too. Nah, not really. Um, it's run out of butane, but it hasn't run out of sparks. You can still spark it. And I don't know if we can zoom in on that and see a little spark on the tip there. But it is sparking. And I can now put that into the hole here and trigger that. These weren't really explosions. We had a little pop noise there, but an explosion has to take place in an enclosed system. So there's pressure built up. This is more enclosed with that bandana, but it's a pretty safe one. So you're going to want to cup your hands over yours for this one. It's potentially loud. This is just the first one. Shouldn't be that loud. I'm just going to go like this. I'm going to put this in the back. One, two, three. Okay, and there's our bandana making a safe landing. Okay. <laughs> that was just one piece. Okay, over here, how many I put? About 30 pieces? We ready? One, two, three. <laughs> Nope, I got gotcha. you. Seems like a discrepant event. That one should have been much louder instead of nothing at all. But of course, this is also a wonderful demonstration for talking about stoichiometry. Here I had a good mixture of acetylene and what was it reacting with? Oxygen. That's what combustion's all about. I put so much calcium carbon in here in an attempt to produce a whole bunch of acetylene. I did, but I drove off all the air and all the oxygen. So pure acetylene that's in there doesn't make for a very combustible mixture. Now, I could open this up, try to blow in a little bit of air, and see, I might get pretty much what I got there. Nope, oh, a little bit, <laughs> not as much. Harder to control it with that. But I wanted to prove that there was, in fact, acetylene in there, but there was too much. So if a little is good, more is better. Not in this case. <laughs> nice illustration of combustion, of a reaction that produces a gas, of kinetics, a lot of chemistry in this one. Thank you. <laughs>